Hey, howdy hey everybody, and welcome back to part 52 of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. And yeah, last time we left off, we made it back to Cantalave City here for the Gym Leader rematch, so... Pretty excited for that. Uh, it's Byron the Steel-type leader, so... Like I said last time, we're probably gonna end up using, uh... Breloom substitute tricks, and, um... Either... Uh, we got Gyarados as well, we have Garchomp with Earthquake, you know, we're pretty stacked. And I'm going the wrong way on the the gym rematch seems to be a fitting thing that every gym i go into i just can't remember the can't remember the correct way out of or through it so and this will take me back down i know um i'm gonna try this one finally hey okay <laughs> and this one and now yep okay should be smooth sailing from here honestly um you know i you think after running this like four times i would know what to do but um Apparently I don't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get stuck there too. I was like, geez. But um, yeah. So we're almost done with this. We have um, after this two more gym rematches and then the elite four rematches. So pretty close to the end. I think I took the wrong way, but I'm gonna stick to it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're we're about seven parts. Not seven parts, right? Yeah, about seven parts away from finishing the game. Well, maybe eight because again we have to do two Cynthia battles, so, you know, might be able to make them into one video, I'll just see how long the battle actually is, because it's Cynthia's rematches, so, I assume it's gonna be pretty difficult, no, but anyways, here we are, let's get our team all put together here, we got Breloom, Scizor, um, yeah, these are probably the most useful ones, the rest are pretty much not gonna see any use, but, um, everyone has, yeah, leftovers, leftovers, nice. I haven't done any more Battle Tower. I, I don't think I'm going to worry about Clefable's Unaware. I don't know. It might be useful for, like, a couple Elite Four uh, rematches. So, maybe. It just depends. Like, I've been, uh... Last night I recorded two New Vegas episodes and edited both of them. And that took me, like, four hours. So, those... Yeah, you got to keep in mind with those. It's, like, an hour, hour and a half of me playing. And then I have to edit it down. And I try to get them to 30 minutes or less. Good Springs is 45 minutes because it's, like, the first video after the introduction so that's why that one's longer but the rest of them I'm, I'm gonna try to make them 30 minutes or less 25 to 30 minutes is my goal but um i have a feeling a few times it's probably gonna run over depending on the situation but anyways enough about that series let's take on byron's rematch here thanks for coming i heard about your remarkable achievement from morgue that you've entered the hall of fame no surprise there small wonder then that my son and i had such a rough time battling you but this time i won't underestimate you or let my guard down in the slightest I have to thank you for shaking me out of my compl complacency. Now then, Cody, brace yourself and let's begin. And all right, we're up against, oh, whoa. <laughs> we're up against Byron now. You know, really cloggy throat there. But let's see what his first one is. Um, hopefully it's not too terrible. I didn't save, so, yeah. Oh, it's Skarmory? Oh, yikes. That's actually not good for a Breloom, is it? Um, and I don't have any electric type moves? What does Clefable know? Well, Clefable's made for, like, more. Uh, well, this team, I guess, isn't just ready to deal with uh, a threat like this, I guess. Uh, unless I switch out Absol for actual better Pokemon. But, um, I think we're gonna just... Is it, no, like, not very... It's it's effective. Um, I think we're gonna Spore it. Spore a Leech Seed. And then try to build up a Substitute. And we actually land it. Pretty cool. I'm used to it not affecting Pokemon, so... Very nice. Breloom is... I, he, he, she's in like four of like the last uh, thumbnail videos, so pretty good Pokemon. Pretty, pretty top tier Pokemon. It's one of my favorites from a kid, so I'm glad I'm using it now, and I'm glad it's like really good. Uh, I just wish I had Technician, honestly. Oh, we got the Stealth Rock up. Yikes, that sucks. Um, but we still got the Leech Seed, and we gotta put it back to sleep now. So hopefully, um, it doesn't outspeed us. I think we outspeed it, right? So it shouldn't be too much trouble now. We just gotta set up. A sub after this, and you know, hopefully, Leech Seed doesn't wear off. Uh, that would suck. Uh, I'm not sure how many turns it's supposed to last, but yeah, we're trying to set up here. Pretty. Oh, oh is it have leftovers? No, I don't know why my voice is so bad right now, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's kind of gross. Um, Alright, so it's asleep now. We're gonna go for substitute. If we had Technician Mac Punch right now, we'd be sitting pretty good. 
because it'd be doing like what it doubles the damage so it'd be like 80 and then plus stabs so a lot it's good damage right now he's gonna heal up so that sucks but we'll, we'll get him we'll get him now for sure and sweet thank you <laughs> I hope I hope it tells us when he's not seated. Like, how does that work? I don't. I've never used it before, really. I used it like a ki when I was a kid and used Turtwig for the first time, but that's really it. Uh, now we're just gonna smash uh, Mac Punch though, so he breaks our substitute. Oh, that's doing no damage, dude. Oh, we got it. That was a. That was a crit, dude. Oh, now I can't even use a uh, Spore again. I have to use Fighting type moves. Like, I was gonna put it back to Sleep and Switch. But, uh, I guess not. It's fine. <clears throat> and he's gonna heal up really nice. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, we haven't, like, we... I guess we could grind up our Pokemon, but we're only three levels lower, too. It's really just the abilities, I feel, that are, uh, holding Breloom back. Clefable's pretty good, though. Um. Let's see. Why's my switch? There we go. Um. Mac Punch? And we'll just keep trying that for a bit. All right, and we're gonna switch to Gyarados now. Um, kind of scared the rock damage, but I don't think Skarmory can take us out. And I got it back to orange health because, yeah, he used the full restore, of course, when we got low. So, but I switched in because it, it was just he started using Iron Defense too, so Breloom was just stuck. Um, it was just becoming a sludge fest, really. So, a sludge fest, uh, snooze fest. I don't know what that word actually is. Not gonna lie, but. Uh, so we're going to switch to Gyarados here, try to run some uh, stab waterfalls on the guy. Um, oh, we're still lead sheeting too? That's pretty clutch. I did, does it not wear off? I could have sworn lead seed wore off. But I guess not. Um, until it faints maybe, or switches. Um, I mean, we could, build up some, we could build up some Dragon Dances to be honest too. Since we're taking damage from it every turn. So it's, it's leftovers isn't doing that much for it. Um... And yeah, just build up our bulk, really. Or I guess not bulk, our, our, our offensive uh, side. But yeah, pretty much. I think two Dragon Dance ought to be fine. I mean, three might be overkill. Because it's Gyarados with Stab, and they're all steel type. But I'm not sure what else he has. And Skarmory is kind of a cool Pokemon. So I assume he has other cool steel types. Like maybe an Aggron. That would be pretty sweet. It's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I always use it in the Hoenn games. Uh, my ride or die. Uh, let's go for the. Oh, he's gonna die from Leech at that point, too. Dang. What is his waterfall to finish him off? And see what he's got next. Oh. Oh, because he's got so much iron defense up. Yikes. Um, did not think of that. Um, that's. Yeah. So we're. Well, luckily, yeah, Leech is still gonna be able to take it out, I think, because it's doing so much damage to him. Which I don't get why it's doing so much damage. That's a crazy amount, I feel. But if we didn't have that, we for sure would be in a in a in a tough boat uh, between him and those iron defenses, man. But I like Skarmory. I just wish it wasn't always flying in the air. Like I wish it would like alternate between like jumping up or something instead of just being in the air. I don't know. I like Skarmory, but I don't really like its animations. Um, Magnezone. Ah, yikes. That's a tough call, actually. Um, if it has Levitate, then no, but... Oh, if Gyarados is supposed to have Earthquake, that would have been clutch. I gotta... I gotta switch it to my Diamond at some point, and, uh... I mean, my... My Pearl. And, uh, do it that way. But... I think we're gonna try it. If he has Levitate, that sucks, but at least he can't use a Ledge type move. Um, I don't think a Ste... Like a... Like, what is it? Flash Cannon would knock out Garchomp? I don't think so, but... Could be wrong. So... Let's see here. Garchomp is waiting for direction. All right, let's see how much we can do. No levitate, no levitate. Nice. But he's probably got sturdy then, right? Yeah. So he's going to heal. He's going to hit us pretty hard, maybe? Or is he going to set up? That was a crit? You didn't need to do that, man. I'm pretty sure stab. Oh, we're choice beta, too. Crap, I forgot about that. Uh, oh, it's focus sash, so... Oh, wait, but it probably still has sturdy then. Yeah. Oh, no. Now it's floating, right? Yeah. That sucks. And we're choice banded, so we can't hit it anymore. So time to switch, which is fine because he's gonna switch anyway. So ah, we'll go set up our Breloom. Uh, another substitute uh, fest here with our homie, the kangaroo. I think it's a kangaroo. It hops like a kangaroo. It has the tail. 
It has like you know. So I I'm gonna say it's a. I never knew it was a kangaroo until I walked with it in this game. Breloom. That sucks, bro. Um. That's fun, is it? Cause I'm like, what can actually do anything to this thing? You like this? Like, ah, man, that sucks losing Breloom. Um, but I think Garchomp can make up for it, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna use Crunch, because it's levitating. Wait, why didn't he heal it? Why didn't he heal? That's so weird. I feel like he for sure wanted to. Empoleon! Oh no. I don't have, like, anything for that, do I? Boom Blast isn't gonna do nothing. I mean, we might be able to build up some, uh... He might have Ice Beam, though, and take out our... Yikes. Um, might be able to take out Gyarados, but we'll, we'll switch to Gyarados. That rock damage is going to start hurting us, I feel, now with Empoleon. I don't know how tough this guy is going to be, but I'm scared for it. Uh, I don't have any electric-type moves. <laughs> um, okay, it's a tag, so if it's not special, that's good, but it's probably, it's, pr it's probably a special attacking. So we're just gonna Dragon Dance like twice and hope we don't lose our Gyarados. Because if we do, um, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Maybe a Choice Band, Garchomp Revenge, Earthquake might be good. But I, oh whoa, okay. Um, that's the worst one. That's the worst one. I don't even do damage to it. And it, yeah, it sucks. Um, ay ay ay. Um, let's see, battle. I don't even think a Swords Dance will save us, bro. And I'm pretty sure water is super effective against Scizor. Oh, man. YOLO! We're gonna throw in Garchomp and see what happens. Oh, no. Let's hope. It's like the only that's super effective, so... I don't know what else to do, honestly. Don't use Ice Beam, don't use Ice Is he just gonna keep warring us to get war damage out? Okay, I'll stay with Absol and just use something um i don't have super luck i have pressure though so it's I, i'm just gonna use sword stance because i don't know oh i could use knockoff i guess to knock his item out dang why did i think a little harder before just going oh yeah swords because he's gonna roar oh what absolutely you're good yikes no not really <laughs> um a guard job gonna be faster at least so we get that oh man byron is like I mean, we're not doing too bad. We're tied with him now, but still losing two Pokemon to a gym leader, i.e. Um, Garchomp. Yeah, we're just going to Choice Band Earthquake, but don't worry. Stab, Choice Band. Come on, buddy. Nice. So, a little less scared now because we can just stay in Choice Band into Earthquake and pretty much sweep his team, I think, unless they have, like, Levitate or something. But I think we've already dealt with the, the worst of it, so... Steelix? Yeah, we'll stay in. Oh, we're gonna Earthquake his Steelix, dude. Wasn't this his, um... No, his main homie was, uh... What was it? It was his main squeeze, Bastardon, our own. We had one, and it was, like, not great, so I don't know how good he's... Oh, he didn't have Sturdy Steelix? No way. That's so rare. Well, I guess he didn't have it before either, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but, you know. Just Iron Island, man. Agron. Okay, this guy definitely has Sturdy, but we're just gonna keep... We have enough Earthquakes. I think we had like eight left, so yeah. Nice, sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. No, was it huge power? No, he doesn't have huge. What is? <sighs> Rockhead, Rockhead. It's did not get a uh, recoil damage. I used to use it all the time with the uh, double edge. It's really good. Nice, his was leveled up. A lot of our team is not going to be getting levels. Bastion, we're staying in, man. This guy's gotta have sturdy though. I feel like it. So probably gonna take two on this if he doesn't knock us out. If he knock, if he. <laughs> If he knocks out Garchomp, we might be in trouble, because I don't know if he has another full restore. And I don't think we have another way to deal with it, but it's fine. And he's on he's on one. He has dirty. Yeah. So what's he gonna throw at me? <laughs> okay. It's fine. He's gonna win the match for us. Clefable? What? No way. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting you to make a, an appearance. Let's see, is he gonna heal though? Uh, we're gonna use Moon Blast. Ah, what? Uh, I really thought he wasn't gonna do it after Magnazone, man. 
Um, yeah. We're gonna just switch back to Garchomp, it looks like. And hope he doesn't just roar us for like three turns. That would suck. Because Adam Polia, that's all that was gonna do, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully he just tries to go for a, a steel type attack, which is gonna suck because Garchomp's weak to it being ground, I think. But um, I think we can take it. Just don't roar us. Because that, that rocks damage is gonna hurt us if we don't get a Garchomp switch in. Come on, buddy. Heavy Slam? Nice. Actually, no, that's not nice. Oh, no, I guess they don't weigh too far? I, I would think that Garchomp weighs way less than Bastiodon. No, but I guess not. Um, but, yeah, we're actually going to end it here with Earthquake. Nice, because we have Rough Skin there. So, even if it had no damage from Clefable, we would have been able to knock it out, luckily. And that is it. That's Byron done. Um, Garchomp's almost level 80. That's crazy. We're going to have to, like, throw him in the PC. Just so he doesn't get, like, over-leveled for the Elite Four. Because there's still, like... There's two other battles besides um, the gym leaders as well as the Elite Four that we gotta do in between, so... Gwah! I, ret I retrained myself on Iron Island, but it still wasn't enough. It seems that experience is no match for your youthful vigor. Okay. This is the sticker I use all the time. I know it's not much, but please accept it. And we get a stone sticker C. Nice. Can't wait to see what... Oh. Can't wait to see what that's about, but, um... Oh, I can't. Oh, I have to use both to run. I forget. Um, I guess we'll go this way to leave, right? And that's going to be it for this one. So next episode, we are headed back to Snowpoint City to have a rematch with Candace. So not really sure who we're going to use for that. Maybe Scizor because it's Steel type. Um, it's not a substitute build, but I'm pretty confident we can get a couple Swords Dances off if her first Pokemon isn't like crazy good against Scizor. So I think that's the. Uh, that's going to be the. Uh, the plan is just throw in Scizor and pray uh, next time. But yeah, until then, um, as always, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Share around with your friends if you think they'd also enjoy this type of content. And as always, I've been the Pokemon Cowboy, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!